Hi everyone, this is Dr. Nitin Shoda with Ignition Time and welcome to my channel. As you can see, today has been a very busy day. I've been, uh, I broke down the comments from several Republican and Democratic senators about the new, the new two-part bill that's out there. Now keep in mind, this is by no means, by no means a perfect bill, even though many, uh, more than one senator actually called it a Christmas gift, a Christmas miracle. But after the press conference that these lawmakers did, Mitt Romney, the senator from Utah, was interviewed on CNBC by Shepard Smith. And Mitt Romney said some things that I thought were extremely interesting. He talked about the importance of providing aid to those who need help the most. But I think when Shepard Smith pressed him on why are there no stimulus checks, you can't say that to those who, who are finding it difficult to pay rent, who don't have food. He said that there's food assistance, there's nutritional assistance. He said that there's assistance for renters. So I thought that was a very interesting thing. But then he also went on to say something interesting about the stimulus checks and why stimulus checks were not included in this package. Remember, this is a two-part package. The first part is right around $740 billion, which includes unemployment benefits, the $300 a week federal booster on top of state unemployment benefits, but it does not include stimulus checks. It does include additional funding for nutrition. It does include funding for the distribution of the vaccine. It does include several other things. It does have an extension of the eviction moratorium, money for evictions, but, but, it does not, it does not include stimulus checks, which are needed, which are necessary for individuals who simply don't qualify for unemployment. What if you're doing a part-time job? What if you've, what if your hours have been significantly cut down? It's not your fault now that your hours have been significantly cut down. You now are in a situation where you now have to depend possibly on nutritional assistance, possibly on assistance as a renter. And that is what Mitt Romney talked about. Extremely interesting comments from the Senator from Utah I think that oftentimes when these senators are asked difficult questions, you know, most of the time they're not asked difficult questions, but when they ask difficult questions, that's when you really know where they stand and, you know, what the truth of the matter is. So let's take a look at Mitt Romney, the senator from Utah, being interviewed by Shepard Smith on CNBC. This just happened less than a couple of hours ago. In fact, this happened as President-elect Joe Biden was delivering an address. And by the way, it was an interesting address. I, I believe that President-elect Joe Biden has been fairly tempered so far. But now that the results are official, he did, uh, you know, he did say, hey, you know, let's let's stop the figure pointing. Let's stop. Uh, let's stop all the animosity and let's move past it. So I felt President-elect Biden's comments were rather interesting in the sense that he, you know, he became a little bit more upfront, if you will. And by the way, I'll provide you with a link to President-elect Joe Biden's comments in the description section below. So I thought that was very interesting, but that happened simultaneously with Mitt Romney's comments with Shepard Smith on CNBC. Let's roll the tape so you can see what Mitt Romney said and why. Pay attention towards the end of this segment when Mitt Romney talks about why stimulus checks were not included as part of this package and you be the judge. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. You'll also find a link to this interview on CNBC in the description section below. Senator Mitt Romney now, he's part of the bipartisan group of lawmakers who introduced that two-part $908 billion deal. Senator, good evening. Thank you. Happy to join you, Chef. Senator, we've been hearing about some sort of compromise for a while, but only hearing. It's been all talk. Does this thing have a chance? Yeah, I think it does. Actually, you're seeing uh, a number of people come forward with support. We've got basically 12 Republicans uh, and Democrats that came together to fashion this proposal. Uh, we've got uh, 50 members of the House that are behind it. And of course, uh, the leader McConnell and the White House have also said it's got some good merit. So we're hoping that either in total or in pieces, this will get passed and help will get to people that need it very badly. But neither Mitch McConnell nor Nancy Pelosi, for that matter, have agreed to bring it up for a vote. Are you confident that they will? Well, not yet, but I think it's been pretty clear. Mitch McConnell has said we need to get something done before the end of the year. We have people that are going to lose their unemployment insurance the day after Christmas. And to keep that from happening is a high priority. We want help also for people that need mental health facilities. We need help for small businesses desperately. We got a lot of businesses just hanging on. So this is another round of PPP uh, grants and loans to small businesses. This, this is money that needs to get out right away. Senator, the frustration has been enormous across this nation. Why has this taken so long? Well, you know, on one hand, you had uh, uh, Speaker Pelosi say that, that it was $2 trillion or nothing. And on the other hand, you saw Republicans. We came forward with a bill that was $500 billion. And so we were just miles apart. And uh, at a dinner with, uh, well, I guess there were eight of us, 
at Lisa Murkowski's uh, home, we said, let's see if we can't come up with something we can all agree on. And uh, that, that group uh, grew, became a little larger. We put together a bill. We agree on it. We think it's important to get this passed before the year is over. What about direct payments? That's not in here. You've said that there are other more pressing matters, but you can't tell that to people who can't make the rent and can't buy the food. Well, the good news is the people who can't make the rent get rental assistance into this bill. There's also tens of billions of dollars going into food assistance, food stamps, food banks, and so forth. So people who can't make the rent, people who don't have money for food are going to get help. We're also going to extend unemployment insurance at $300 a week on top of the state uh, provision. So additional funds to those that are unemployed. The key, of course, is let's keep the cost of this from becoming backbreaking and adding huge debt to our national balance sheet and sending checks to people who don't need it. I know it's popular for people who like checks, but sending checks to people that don't need it doesn't strike us as high a priority is getting checks to people that are unemployed and who can't pay the rent and are looking for food. So that's it, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Dr. Nitin Choda with Ignition. And if you don't know anything about me, please check out my video. You'll learn more about who I am, what my journey has been like, and why you should listen to me. We release videos at 2 p.m. East Coast time most days of the week. That's 2 p.m. So please make sure you click like, you subscribe, you enable notifications so you get instant updates about our videos. You'll also get notified whenever we do any live streams. So make sure you please click like, please click subscribe, please enable notifications. That's your vote of confidence in us and that really helps out the YouTube algorithm. I would really appreciate that. Just gently tap that like button. Don't ignite it and don't, don't smash your screen. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that because, uh, you know, I want you to be able to watch our videos. But the name of our channel is Ignition Time. Now, keep in mind, you can get your cell phone out, send a text message with the word ignition or with the word time to 70,000. That's 70000. And you'll get added to our SMS alerts list moving forward. You can opt out of the SMSs at any point in time that you want. Now, keep in mind, you can also get added to our email list. Simply go ahead and go to ignitiontime.com forward slash alerts. That's ignitiontime.com forward slash alerts. You can get added to our email list. When you're on our SMS list or our email list, there are two major advantages. One, you'll get breaking news and alerts from us about matters that are important to the country, matters that are important to the economy, and matters that are important to your money. So make sure you get added to our list. Also, you will get important information if we ever release any training programs on how to make money, save money, and invest money. And you can opt out of those SMS alerts or those email alerts at any point in time that you want. No worries about that. Keep in mind that YouTube does not always send out notifications on time. So make sure you simply bookmark youtube.com forward slash ignition time. And then you can visit the home page of our channel and check out our videos at any point in time that you want. You're not dependent on alerts from YouTube because sometimes they get delayed. You can also follow us on Instagram. Our Instagram handle is ignition underscore time. That's ignition underscore time. You'll get exclusive news and content on Instagram. Also follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter handle is the exact same handle, ignition underscore time on Twitter. You'll get breaking news and alerts from us on Twitter. So make sure you do that. I really appreciate you watching. Don't forget to comment below. Our community is growing rapidly. It's intelligent. It's respectful. It's bipartisan. You'll probably make some new friends in our community. So make sure you comment below. Also, please share this video with friends and family because then hopefully we can grow our community with your help. I do need your help to grow our community. Thank you so much for watching. As always, you'll find a link to all of our resources in the description section below. So make sure you check out all of our resources. I really appreciate you watching. Again, don't forget to click like, click subscribe, please enable notifications. I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next episode of Ignition Time. Thank you. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.